Hey there guys, it's Blue Bray. And today, we're gonna be using some TNT. Cannons. Hey, let me get a first person mode, third person mode. And, here we are. So the TNT cannon that I wanna show off today is this one. Which is my new version, which is very compact and shoots really far for what you put into it. I mean, we all know there's gigantic cannons that shoot forever. So just compare, this is the biggest TNT cannon you make in this format, and we're compared to this to this. So first is the old. Observe. So it's the same spot as the last time which I tested it. So it's about here, so we'll mark it. We'll mark it about here. That's a bad thing to mark it with. Mark it with this. Oh god, lag. Um, I, oh god, it's getting dark. So next one we're test out is my new version. Here we go. Let's see where this went. Now look at that. Look at the difference in size. It's gigantic. So the only difference between these two is that this one has more dispensers um, and otherwise you'll use less redstone dust and you use I think about the same or maybe a few more than this one with um, repeaters. So now I'm going to show you how to build this. So first we're going to start off is with two you want to place down to just any block, and this is your this is going to be your base for the entire thing. So after this, what you're going to do is you're going to place the projectile launcher, and then after that, you're going to put the next pow I guess the powering launchers, and the way to get this last one on the top is to put Clip on, shift clip on top of this, and then just put this right on it. Now fill that back in. So now, I delete that. And now we're ready to go to the next step, which is the final front stuff. So next, you put this so everything doesn't explode off to the side. And then right here, you're going to want to put a fence and then a pressure plate. Now this is really, really important because if you don't put that fence in there and just leave it as one of these blocks, it's going to blow up because this is what happened to it on my last try. So you got to remember, don't use regular blocks. So the next part we're going to do is we're going to do all the redstone. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna shift click on all top on top of all of these right here, and then you're just gonna leave it there. So the next redstone now the rest now the rest of the redstone dust is gonna go here, 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 and here. If you have it right there, you're almost done. So the next thing we're gonna do, and almost the last, is we're gonna put this here the repeater here and we're going to put it on four ticks and make sure it's facing in that direction away from the front of the cannon so you go in four ticks in this direction then put another one right here four ticks four ticks four ticks four ticks and then the entire time all the ticks and this is what and looks almost done so there's a few last things you can put on. Clean the button right here. 
and you put the water. And for the fun part, you gotta put the TNT in. So I think a stack would be good just to start off. I mean, if you're in survival, which I don't recommend using this in at all, um, I would not put a stack. Actually, take that back. I would use this in survival, but only if you're playing in PvP, not with solo. So now that everything's ready, let's test if everything worked out. Let's do a test run. Oh, you see that? You just probably just caught a last glimpse of it. And this is what it formed. So it's a pretty consistent shot. I mean, I so guys, we're back. And now this is what it looks like after I take about, took about, I don't know, six shots on each one. This is how this is how much damage and ignore this because this is from an earlier test um, yeah so this is a very compact cannon it doesn't fire nearly as far as some of those gigantic cannons but it's definitely good if you don't have a ton of resources and you don't have a lot of space and this fits it very well and it shoots much better than this so if you want a long range cannon it's compact and very few resources. This is the way you should go. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. I hope you make this in your worlds. Leave a like, subscribe, everything, comment. And I'll see you next time. Bye!